As we remember British Columbians, let me begin by speaking to the tr recent tragedy in Quebec City. Let us speak in one voice to express our condolences, <coughs> condemn the hatred and violence. Let us uh, reaffirm who we are as Canadians. I want to thank the Imam for his prayers. First responders place themselves in harm's way to help others. This year, an entire nation mourned Constable Sarah Beckett, who lost her life in the line of duty. We lost those who represented British Columbians in Ottawa or in this legislature, Patrick Crofton, Len Marchand, Frederick King, Samuel Balf, Don Phillips, and John Narney. And those who inspired us, like Rowley Fox, John Young, Stanley Burke, Pritnam Singh Johal, William Essen, W. P. Kinsella, Harold Mann, Vic Rapp, Don Chi jo Cho Jones, excuse me, Don Co Jones, Dave Broadfoot, and Joe Wai. And those who helped build vibrant communities, such as Robin Hood, Murray Newman, Bing Tom, Jim Monroe, Dr. Raj Baines, David Strangeway, and David Holmberg. British Columbia lost First Nation leaders like Philomena Alphonse, Donald Moses, Kathleen Green, Nelson Kitla, Alban Michael, Norman Tate, Marjorie McRae, Daphne Ojig, Rocky Wilson, Joseph Bartleman, Arthur Manuel, David Ball, Bob, and Ollie Shittuck. Today, a service is held for Orsa Marie Douglas, the last living direct descendant of Sir James Douglas, one of the key founding fathers of our great province. Finally, some of our co-workers and friends who work for the legislature, John Crawford, Gary Miller, and Deb Hartung. This year, we celebrate Canada's 150th year. Let us remember the women and men who gave so much to build our country and province. 